Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Now this video is called, They Want to Remove Your Free Will. And the thumbnail is the banks closing. And I've talked about this before, but we'll talk about it here in a different way. This is a, this is a good video to share with people to make them aware of what is actually going on and how serious it is. To make them aware so they can prepare and not automatically accept the digital trap that is currently being sprung for them. So anyway, here is an article from today. Closing time, full list of bank branches closing this month, including Barclays and Lloyds. Is your local one of them? Thousands of bank customers face having their local branch closed within weeks as 57 locations are shut forever. The closures come as major high street banks opt to transition more of their banking services to online. So. This is something they are doing incrementally, yeah? They've been doing it for the last few years. It's not just the UK, it's everywhere. And their excuse is that, well, people don't need the banks as much because people are doing most of their banking online. The reality is, is that they have forced people online, coerced them over time. This is all about introducing the cashless society. As I said, this is being done incrementally. They also closed the ATMs in the town along with the bank much of the time and of course local shops can't then bring cash into the bank to cash in their takings, you know, which then forces them to go cashless more as well. All of this is not done overnight, they do it gradually so people don't notice and think it's just happening naturally when it's actually being done deliberately. Governments around the world are planning on bringing in digital currencies, CBDC, which will be programmable, which means they can program digital money to have conditions before it is given to someone, yeah? Meaning they can program it so it can only be spent in certain areas, only be spent on certain things. Businesses can easily be blacklisted from using it. It could be programmed to delete itself after a set amount of time. It could be programmed for anything. It's total control over everyone's financial existence and effectively complete control over the individual and what they do with their money. And this is just one part of the beast system, a complete overhaul of the world financial monetary system along with a new one world religion, a spiritual system in order to back it up that will excuse this new tyrannical system and attempt to justify it. That's what it will exist for. It's gonna be a, a very much an automated system, a dehumanizing system. They want to treat and turn people into cattle, into animals. And one thing that makes people different from animals is that we have free will. We have free will so we can choose not to give in to temptation. We can choose not to give in to an urge or a basic primitive instinct. We can resist, okay? A person who is very overweight because they are addicted to food can choose not to eat that big chocolate cake placed in front of them. But also, they have free will to give in to that urge and eat it all up. We can choose to be disciplined like a disciple might be disciplined. We have free will so we can determine our future to a certain degree. We can choose to be good, we can choose to be bad, we can choose to work hard, we can choose to be lazy. And our choices determine an outcome. We are not like animals. Animals are led by their primitive urges. Animals are slaves to their instincts and cannot help themselves. Animals are bound to nature. They are easily trained and easily controlled because of this. They will always automatically follow their primitive urges. And everything you see going on today is promoting the removal of your free will. It's conditioning you to not have or to not use your free will or for others to control your free will. Free will is a gift that elevates us above the animals, okay? So a cashless system is all about taking that element of free will away from you so that you become like an animal and controlled like one. I did a video yesterday about Just Stop Oil, about that member of the public 
intervening and wrestling with the paint sprayer and how they had both been brainwashed to a certain degree. They believed they were using their free will, but their free will had been co-opted by the fake stream media and by a cult. And here we see them acting like animals as they wrestle with one another. So people, the public, are being attacked on all sides and it's all about controlling your free will and effectively then removing it at some point down the line and that's when you go into the whole transhumanism and uploading people's consciousness to the cloud and Elon Musk chips in brains and metaverse gobbledygook and whatever. And another example is Extinction Rebellion, the establishment funded PSYOP. It's all about taking away people's choice. It's all about the removal of your free will. They want government to come in and turn off the power and introduce carbon limits and legislation. They want to force things onto you. They claim to be all about nature, but they don't want to let nature take its natural course. They want to intervene. And while that could be argued is their free will, they use it to take your free will away. They use it to harm others. And the same with the cashless society agenda. And all of this and the propaganda TV shows and the films that encourage and condition people over a long period of time to give in too easily to their basic primitive instincts to condition them to allow uh, black mirror devices, usually engaging you to be lazy because it eliminates inconvenience in some way and the myriad of apps on them to give away personal information so they can monitor you, track you, analyze you. People have been lulled into this slowly and the trap is about to close. It's been happening for a long time. It's conditioning people to accept the letting go of their free will. Free will is a gift. They don't like you having this gift, a gift that elevates you above the animals. They want you to be like an animal. They want to see you as cattle. Technology, all these apps, all this automation, all of these gadgets that are making choices for you. These wrist health checking gadgets people wear that tell you how many calories you've eaten or how many calories you should eat or how many steps you should take that day, making choices for you. Artificial intelligence, it's artificial, it's not real. It mimics human intelligence. From a biblical perspective, everything God creates, Satan counterfeits. Artificial intelligence is a crappy counterfeit of free will. It's a counterfeit in order to replace the original and best to replace your free will. How many times now have I said free will? I'll keep going though. Why would Satan want there to be no free will? Without free will, there is no moral responsibility. So therefore, you have an immoral world where a sin is therefore not seen as a sin anymore. So it's all about awareness, yeah? So many people are not aware of what is happening. It's happening slowly. It doesn't seem that slow to me, but it's a gradual process in order to not alert people to it, of this massive change they are trying to bring in. But it is happening. The system is whack. It's a corrupt, a corrupting entity. And it wants to drag people down with it. Awareness is key. So share this video if it helps someone to initially start to question what is going on. To realize this, especially in regards to the cashless society and how that works with the removal of their free will. If they can start to see the bigger picture, it's going to help them make better choices in the future. Okay, as always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to HugoTalks.com, the website, so you can be notified of all videos when they are uploaded direct from source, and I'll see you later.